For millions of years, the universe has been bound by one constant. A force of good that encircles all. A power that stretches the cosmos from the villages of Italy to the moons of Jupiter. Something so beautiful that warriors weep and royalty bows. I am, of course, standing here before you today, talking of the rich and plentiful food item known as pizza. Uh, I said, pizza! <clears throat> pizza! I'm a little busy. Pizza has been eaten in one form or another for centuries. In the ancient times, they used pieces of flatbread because people couldn't afford plates. But it was in 18th century Italy where pizza as we know it really got its start. Naples was fast growing and becoming one of the most popular cities in Europe. So to keep up with the demand of the hungry people, street vendors would top pieces of toasted bread with garlic and salt. But today, we're making pita pizzas. We will be using Pita bread, pizza sauce, mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, a green pepper, and one onion. I have these ingredients, but you feel free to put anything you want on it. If we were at camp, we'd cook these pizzas on an open fire. But since we're not, we're gonna use this oven. Toasty. Oh. Before we begin, always wash your hands to get rid of any of those pesky germs. Let's open our pizza sauce, using a can opener. Not your bare hands, you animal. Now we're grating the cheese. Nothing greater than grating cheese, am I right? Am I? Ding dong, time for the bell. Peppers, wash those suckers and then get to chopping. Chop, chop, chop. If you're using a sharp knife, always have adult supervision. Unless you are an adult, in which case, just buy yourself a pizza, man. You don't need to watch this. Onion time. Onions are some of the world's most versatile vegetables. I'm a really, I'm a really big, I'm a, I'm a big fan of onions. <laughs> Cut the pepperoni into thin slices. Delicious. Now that we have our ingredients ready, it's time to construct that pizza! Apply the sauce to the pita, and then add your onions and peppers. And remember, if you make a mess, make sure you clean it up. Next, add your desired amount of meat. I'm on a diet. Who cut the cheese? It was me, two minutes ago. Were you not watching? Set the oven to 400 degrees, and then cook them for four to seven minutes, or until the cheese is melted. Ooh, don't these look good? Mm, it's lunchtime. Just like that, you got your very own pita pizza. Tune in next week when we're making macaroni and cheese. See you then. Mmm! Mmm! Mmm, that is good! <laughs>